Hi, my name is Priyanka Vedula and this is my project for EEE 6512. The title of my project is Comparative Study of Various Image Noise Reduction Techniques. This is the scope of the project. We are going to cover the various types of noises, the filtering techniques employed to reduce these noises and the results. Now, what are the different types of noises? The different types of noises are Gaussian noise, Gaussian noise, salt and pepper noise, and speckle noise. These are not all the noises that can be encountered in an image, but these are the most common types of noises encountered. This is the original image that we are going to be using across this project. Let's move on to Gaussian noise. Gaussian noise is also called as an additive noise. It is called so because in the case of Gaussian noise, each and every pixel is modified in such a way that a certain distribution is added to it. The most common distribution being the Gaussian distribution. It is caused due to poor illumination during capture or due to high temperatures. It can also be caused due to noise present in electronic circuits. Poisson noise. Poisson noise is also called a short noise or photon noise. It is the dominant noise in the lighter parts of the image. It is caused due to a variation in the number of photons sensed at a given exposure level. It follows a Poisson distribution. Salt and pepper noise. Salt and pepper noise is a very interesting kind of noise. It is also referred to as impulse noise. It can be characterized as sparse disturbances in the image leading to discoloration of a few pixels in the image. As you can see, a few pixels have become black and white, but the rest of the image has been left untouched. It is caused due to sudden disturbances like dust or a faulty charge coupled device during the capturing of the image. The last noise that we are going to cover is the speckle noise. Speckle noise is a type of multiplicative noise. It causes any distribution to be multiplied by each pixel in the picture. It corrupts images like ultrasounds, laser, sonar, etc. The filtering techniques that we are going to be covering over the scope of this project are linear filters, minimum filters, maximum filters, median filter, linear filter, Gaussian smoothing filter, guided filter, block matching and 3D filtering, and adaptive fuzzy switching median filter. Let's start with the linear filter. The linear filtering technique is used for reducing random noise, sharpening the edges, and correcting unequal illuminations. It is, in, it is the type of filtering in which the value of an output pixel is a linear combination of the values of the pixel in the input pixel's neighborhood. The procedure is carried out by filtering the image with correlation of an appropriate filter kernel. The value of the output pixel is calculated as a weighted sum of the neighboring pixels. This is called as convolution. The formula of convolution is given in the screen below. Moving on to min filter. Min filter will find the darkest points in an image. It will find the minimum value in the area encompassed by the filter and enhances the dark areas of the image. Hence, it reduces the salt noise as a result of min operation. That's the formula of the min filter. Moving on to max filter. Max filter will find the brightest points in an image. It finds the maximum value in the area encompassed by the filter and enhances the bright areas of the filter. It reduces pepper noise as a result. If the min filter and max filter are used together, the pepper noise can be eliminated as a whole. This is the formula for the max filter. Moving on to the median filter, it is excellent at noise removal without the smoothing effects that can occur with other smoothing filters like the Gaussian filter, particularly good when salt and pepper noise is present. These are excellent for impulse type of noises. This is the formula for the median filter. Moving on to the Wiener filter. It is a type of adaptive filter and tailors itself to the local image variance. If the variance is large, then it performs little smoothing, but if it is small, then the Wiener performs more smoothing. The adaptive filter is more selective than a linear filter as it preserves edges and other high frequency parts of an image. It provides a statistical estimate of an unknown signal by using a relative signal as an input and using that known signal to produce an estimate as the output. Moving on to the Gaussian filter. A Gaussian kernel gives less weight to pixels further from the center of the window. This kernel is an approximation of the Gaussian function shown below. The Gaussian filter is used to blur an image and it effectively reduces the noise and thus the image details. Guided filter. The guided filter performs edge preserving smoothing of an image using the content of a second image called as a guidance image. The guidance image can be the image itself, a different version of the image or a completely different image. It takes into account the statistics of a region in the corresponding spatial neighborhood in the guidance image when calculating the value of the output pixel. If the guidance is the same as the image to be filtered, the structures are the same. But if the guidance image is different, then the structures in the guidance image will impact the filtered image and thus the input itself. 
Now moving on to the block matching and 3D filtering that is BM3D. It is the most complex and advanced method for image filtering. It groups similar 2D image fragments into 3D data arrays called as groups. Collaborating filtering reveals that the finest details are shared by grouped blocks and that it preserves the essential unique features of each individual block. The last filter that we are going to cover is the adaptive fuzzy switching median filter. This filter is a noise adaptive fuzzy switching median filter. Initially, the detection stage will utilize the histogram of the corrupted image to identify noise pixels. These detected noise pixels will then be subjected to the second stage of the filtering action while the noise free pixels are retained and left unprocessed. Then, the filter employs fuzzy logic to handle uncertainty present in the extracted local information as introduced by noise. Now, let's go look at the code. Now let's start with adaptive filtering. This is the code for adaptive filtering. So this is where the adaptive filtering happens, which is the Wiener filter, and then it's going to display. It's going to give us a comparison between the original image, that is the image with the noise, and the reconstructed image using the Wiener filter. It's going to do so for all four types of noises, and then it's going to calculate the PSNR, MSE, and SNR of the Gaussian noise of every single noise, essentially and it's going to print the value on the screen. We are using the MATLAB function peak SNR and ERR, that is IMMSE, from the MATLAB toolbox for finding the PSNR and MSE. So now let's run this. As you can see, this is the original versus reconstructed image using the Wiener filter for the speckle noise. This is how the speckle noise looked, and this is after the filtering. This is for salt and pepper noise. This is for the Poisson noise and this is for Gaussian noise. And here we can see the SNR and MC values which have been printed on the screen. This was the case for adaptive filtering. So now let's move on to the fuzzy filter. This is the original versus reconstructed image using fuzzy filter for speckle. This is for salt and pepper. We can see that it has worked really well for salt and pepper. This is for the Poisson noise and this is for the Gaussian noise. And this is the PSNR and MSE values displayed below. Moving on to the Gaussian filtering. As we can see, Gaussian filter has blurred the noise. So effectively, the image itself gets blurred and there is no sharpness in the image. It is the same for all kinds of noises. It does effectively remove the noise a little, but it even blurs the edges, which doesn't make for a very appealing picture. The PSNR and MSE values are displayed below for each and every kind of noise. Now let's look at the guided filter. This is for salt and pepper. So we can see the guided filter has worked very well for the Poisson noise. The noise is almost completely gone and the image is really sharp. So it has done a very good job. And even for Gaussian noise, it has removed the noise to a considerable bit. Moving to median filtering. Median filtering does not do a very good job for speckle noise but it does a very good job for salt and pepper noise. It seems to be the best after fuzzy filters. And so for Poisson noise, it even does a good job on Poisson noise and Gaussian noise as well, but not as good. Let's go to the min filter. So as I said, the min filter was used for, let's just go back and take a look at the min filter. So the min filter was used for highlighting the darkest points in the image. Let's see if it's done that. Yes, it's taken the darkest points in the image and it's highlighted that. So we are going to run everything from the min filter to max filter to linear filter. Let's see how it works. So 
So this is the original versus reconstructive image for linear filter for speckle noise. This is for salt and pepper noise. We can see that it's not done much for it. This is for the Poisson noise. We can see that the Poisson noise has been removed a bit and the picture looks clear. And this is for the Gaussian noise, which does not, it does, it does not seem to have a very good effect for Gaussian noise. So this is the max filter. This is how the max filter has worked for speckle noise. As you can see, the max filter took the brightest points in an image and it has made it brighter. It has, it has just made the salt and pepper image brighter. It's taken the black uh, pixels and it's made them white. This is the Gaussian noise for max filter. Now let's move on to the min filter. This is how the min filter performs against speckle noise. This is how it has performed against salt and pepper. It's just taken the white pixels and made them black. This is how it's performed against Poisson noise and this is how it's performed against Gaussian noise. So we can see that the max and min filter alone do not do a very good job but maybe when they used together they would do a much better job. So let's move on to the BM3D filter. The BM3D filter has done a very good job for speckle noise. As we can see, the noise is almost gone and the picture is also sharp. It has done an okay job for uh, salt and pepper noise. It has removed the noise a bit, but not completely. It has done an excellent job for poison noise. As you can see, the noise is almost completely gone and the picture is sharp and appealing. And it's done a very good job for Gaussian noise as well. It's removed the noise completely and the picture looks appealing. So except for salt and pepper noise, it has been very good for all the other noises. It has been able to filter out the noises considerably well. The PSNR and MSC has been displayed here. Let's just go through the results again quickly. These are the results that we obtained for linear noise. These are the results obtained for linear noise. As we can see, linear noise performs very well for portion noise. These are the results obtained for max filtering. And these are the results obtained for min filtering. These are the results obtained for median filtering, which has worked very well for portion noise as well as salt and pepper noise. It has performed extremely well for salt and pepper noise by removing all the noise completely and the picture also looks sharp and appealing. Now moving on to the guided filter. The guided filter has done an exceptional job for Poisson noise. It has been the best among all the other filters for Poisson noise. It has even done a good job for the Gaussian noise, but it has not done a very good job for speckle noise and salt and pepper noise. Moving on to Gaussian filtering, as you can see Gaussian filtering has blurred out the noise. So the, the resultant image is very blurred and not sharp. Now the Wiener filter has done a very good job for Poisson noise as well. It has effectively removed all the noise. So uh, and it has the similar performance for Gaussian noise and speckle noise, but it has not been able to remove the noise completely for the salt and pepper noise. Moving on to 3M uh, BM3D filtering, it has performed really well for all kinds of noise except for salt and pepper noise, which it is not able to eliminate completely. But it has uh, it has proved to be very stable and powerful. Now moving on to adaptive fuzzy filtering. Adaptive fuzzy filtering has done a very good job for the salt and pepper noise. So the PSNR and MSE values, as I showed in the present in the demo, was calculated using the MATLAB functions PSNR and IMMSE. This is the table of the values obtained for each and every filter and different kinds of noises. As you can see, the BM3D has has been strong and stable throughout through all the noises. So. As a summary, I would like to say that the BM3D was found to be very stable and comprehensive 
and by looking at all the filters we can observe that the median filter has worked very well for salt and pepper noise and poison noise the linear filter has worked well for poison noise the wiener filter worked well for poison noise as well the guided filter has done a very good job with poison noise as well the fuzzy adaptive median filter has proved to be the best for salt and pepper the bm3d filter is a powerful filter which has worked very well with all kinds of noise so it is difficult to say which filter is the best among all these filters but depending upon the type of noise being encountered we can select the filter accordingly thank you